I now look forward to welcoming Maya, Maya Ramirez. Maya, can you hear me? Please join me on stage. Yes, thank you so much for having me today. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Maya, you were not misdiagnosed. You have a diagnosis that is very different from what most of us here at Doc Day and most of us listening um, understand when they hear diabetes. You have type 3C diabetes or pancreatogenic diabetes. Before Correct. we start, can you explain what that is? Yeah, so um, pancreatogenic diabetes basically means either you have partially uh, removal of the pancreas, full removal, or if there's been damage to it. Um, in my case, I did have my pancreas fully removed at eight months old. Um, I was born with a rare genetic a disease called congenital hyperinsulism. Um, which means that your pancreas overproduces insulin, causing severe hypoglycemia. So it's very uncontrollable. Um, it's usually diagnosed um, when you're born or early, um, first couple months of life. Um, but basically, especially when you're fasting, you're having severe hypoglycemia. Um, and there is certain medication that can help control the blood sugars. However, with the specific um, one that I had, um, I ended up having to have an entire pancreatectomy. And tell us a little bit about uh, how that started with you. We're just saying you it started eight months, actually started before you were eight months old, right? Correct. So within the first couple hours of birth, um, they noticed they were running tests as they normally do, and they did notice that my blood sugars were extremely low. And no matter how much you know food they were giving me, the blood sugars would not go up. Um, so they started doing different testing and they, at that time, they used to call it nisidioblastosis, but now it's more commonly known as congenital hyperinsulism. Um, but basically it, um, over the course of eight months, they did three different rounds of surgeries, um, hoping that every time they would remove part of the pancreas, the, um, blood sugars would be controlled. Um, however, it just progressively got worse. So they ended up taking the entire thing out by age eight months old. So basically, uh, they, the doctors or your parents, you were eight months old, basically mm -hmm. intentionally made you a person living with type almost type one diabetes then. Like Correct. Because, um, having the pancreatectomy was more, uh, manageable than not doing this route because the medication generally when um, infants are diagnosed with this, they use a medication called dioxide um, and the dioxide was not working for me. So they said that having the pancreatectomy would be a lot more easily manageable. And ever since then, I've been on insulin and I've been on digestive enzymes called Creon to help do the other functions of the pancreas. And how does your therapy now differ from someone like me and many others here with type 1? Is it the same? Is it different? Um, it's slightly different. I am on an insulin pump, so I am, you know, insulin dependent. However, any time that I eat, I do need to take these digestive enzymes because the pancreas does help um, break down the food. Um, without these digestive enzymes, um, I start having what I call like almost like food-like uh, food poisoning like symptoms because my body's not able to, to digest the food. So that shows that actually the pancreas is doing a lot more than what we, the type ones usually believe just producing insulin. It's, it Correct. is doing that a lot more. Yes. And tell us a little bit about, you are trying to build a community where you are in California. Is that a community for people living with pancreatogenic cancer with type three C or is it in general about people living with diabetes? In general. So when I originally started my Instagram page on Papayabetic, I wanted to create a community of other people living with diabetes. Um, but as I started my page, I started um, meeting others like me that had um, pancreatectomies. Um, and there's not meant, I haven't met a big amount of us, but I've met a good handful of us. We've been able to create a very tight knit community um, here in California, though, in the Sacramento, Northern California area. I am trying to create a diabetes support group uh, specifically um, for adults, because I've noticed that there's not a lot of support in the area for adults living with diabetes, no matter what type they have. Um, so I have been hosting monthly meetups 
in the area so we can connect with one another and, you know, be a resource for each other. That sounds amazing. I mean, so many initiatives like that out there, but if you say there's not much in your area, then go ahead and do it. And I hope you will find others with type 3C and the additional challenges that brings. And Steffi again is just saying that, you know, we often joke about type one, our, us type ones, we joke about our pancreas being dead. You are the proving example that it's actually, it's actually not for us. It's just the beta cells that don't produce insulin. Yours is dead and that it's gone and that comes with extra challenges. Yes, and that's a common misconception. A lot of people, especially doctors, when I encounter them, they, they're like, I haven't met an individual who had their pancreas removed. Like, is that even possible? You know, there's so many people that tell me like, well, it's not possible. You can't live without it. I'm, and I'm here living proof that yes, you can live without this organ. You just need to take insulin and take digestive enzymes. Yeah. Maya, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for sharing about this. And I hope that some people out there might find themselves in a similar situation and will reach out to you and then you can connect. And maybe these peer support meetings will go virtual and you'll be able to bring in others from around the world because I guess there's not so many like you in just one local town, but out there in the DDoC community and in the DOC in general, I'm sure you will find more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good one.